Hey guys, today we're going to create an animation of a bouncing ball. We're going to create a layer for our sketch and then we're going to create a ball and a floor and then we're going to create a bouncing ball. I think it's going to take about maybe 25 frames. Uh, but let's get started. This is a this is the um, 2D animation uh, scene from Blender. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first step I want to do is set up my pencil. Right now I'm in the draw mode, draw mode, uh, and I and I'm in the draw tool. And here in the pencil, I I just want to check pencil. In fact, there was already a pencil. Uh, in the solid stroke, I want to check this red square stroke because I, I like to draw in red. Command Z. Uh, and then um, I want to, now that I've set up my pencil, my radius is how thick that pencil is. I'm just going to show you maybe like 500. It's going to be pretty big. So Command Z. Uh, I'm going to keep it at about maybe 40 pixels. And the strength is how how um, dark it is. So I'm going to crank up the strength to about 1. That way it's full on. I'm going to use my pen uh, with my tablet uh, to take uh, advantage of the pressure sensitivity that Blender offers and the tablet so um, I like to start I can start drawing um, sketching out my animation right here but what I'd like to do is create a different uh, I only have a different layer I only have two layers lines and fills and, and it's down here in I can see it in the in the timeline um, and here they are the layers that I have and to get to the layers panel um, all I need to do is make sure that I have the stroke selected and then go to the, its properties and I can see the the um, the layers panel here now you see I have two layers the lines and the fills I'm gonna create a, a new layer by going out to the uh, new layer button the uh, plus the minus is delete layer, remove layer. This is add a layer. So I'm going to add a new layer and it's called GP layer. Just by double clicking on the time, I mean on the uh, name, I can change the name. Um, I'll call it sketch. This is my sketch layer. Return. And then I'm going to move this sketch layer down uh, underneath the fills by clicking on the down arrow here. And so this will move the layer down and there it is there it is so now I can sketch uh, on this layer this is my sketch layer now I, I can sketch here um, and I can grab my pen and I'm gonna sketch a a floor and I don't have to be too accurate don't worry about it. it's just a sketch this is my floor uh, and then I am going to maybe draw the ball right about here and then draw the path that's going to take to do the bounce so I'm gonna go from here right to about here and then it's gonna take a bounce to about here and then it's going to go off the scene maybe this one uh, command Z a little shorter off the scene that's the path it's going to take uh, and those are the those are the frames that, that I need to draw so if I'm gonna apply the squash and stretch principle of animation this ball is gonna hit the floor and it's gonna be squashed a hundred percent right at this frame uh, and then when it's up at the top it's going to be a hundred percent round and it should be a hundred percent as its topmost position uh, and then it'll be a hundred almost a hundred percent as it takes off and as it comes in it'll be a hundred percent stretched 
and as it comes in. Remember, the ball is gaining momentum as it drops. So, and then it hits the floor and it squashes. Uh, so right about here, I'm gonna draw the same ball and then again here, and then again here, and then again here. Remember, it is starting off slow and then picking up speed and then boom, it, it just it just hits the ground, takes off, a little bit stretched, and then here, here, and then here, it's a little bit stretched. I'm just gonna do this right there, and then right there, and then right there, and then we might not have to draw this one. Uh, but that's those are the those are the frames that I'm gonna do. Uh, and this is just my sketch layer. I can always uh, modify it or redraw it or, or whatever. It doesn't matter. This is just my sketch layer. So, uh, and I'm ready to go ahead and start drawing the real thing. I'm going to get my sketch layer and turn down the opacity and then lock it so that I don't have to mess with it or I don't uh, accidentally start drawing on this. I'm just gonna lock it here in the lock and turn down the opacity so that it doesn't become so um, um, distracting. Select my lines layer. Now I'm gonna draw with the ink pen because I want to, and then a black color, because I want to draw solid a solid ink um, stroke. I'm gonna undo that. And I could sit here and try to draw a perfect ball, but I'm not gonna do that. Undo. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this circle tool and holding the shift key down, I'm gonna draw this ball right there. And if you see these two little yellow uh, dots, that means it's still editable. I need to hit the return key to accept that ball. And so now I can start animating. Oh, but wait. I need to draw my floor. So I'm going to grab a straight line. And then I'm going to draw a straight line across my scene. And there it is. See the, the yellow ends? You need to hit the return key to accept that. And then now I can start. I'm on frame one. Always start on frame one. I've got my ball and I've got my floor and now we need to move to frame I'm gonna move to frame two move to frame two and then I am going to go to the edit work mode this is the selection this is the move rotate scale and transform tool so I'm gonna select this ball and then I'm going to move it by selecting the move tool I'm on frame two in the lines layer and I'm going to move it over. That's my frame two, simple as that. I'm gonna move to frame three and I can click, I can click the marker or the playhead and move it to frame three, move this ball over to frame three or I can just click on the right arrow to go to the next frame, right arrow on the keyboard click and it goes to the next frame move it over click the right arrow frame 5 move it over right arrow frame 6 move it over and before I continue I want to start that stretch so I'm going to go to the scale tool and these are the handles for the scale tool I'm going to click on this one and squish it and stretch it just a little bit. And then it doesn't look, it, it's got to follow the path of the, of the uh, animation. So I'm just going to select the rotating tool, grab this uh, green line and rotate it till, um, till I like it right there. I'm going to go hit the hit the uh, right arrow, go to frame seven, 
grab the move tool move it grab the rotate tool I'm gonna rotate it right side up to where it's standing straight so that I can grab the scale tool stretch it a little bit more and then rotate it back into place there we go and so right arrow or just move this to the 8 frame 8 move tool I'm gonna do right here right in the center and then rotate it and this is the squash I'm just gonna move it over just a little bit to right there frame 9 right arrow frame 9 and then I'm gonna move it over and rotate it and move it adjust it I, I'm, I'm grabbing the middle so that I can move it anywhere but you can also grab the arrow to move it uh, in the x-axis or the the um, blue one to move it in the z-axis all right right arrow to the to frame 10 move right there I need to start getting rid of the squash so uh, I'm going to rotate it so that it's perfectly up and down and scale it just a little bit scale it down just a little bit make it a little bit more round and rotate it back into place move it right about there right arrow so that I can go to frame 11 move it and again the same thing the same thing I'm going to um, oops scale it and I think I'm gonna go ahead and and move it right into place right there right arrow go to frame 12 move it here right arrow frame 13 move it here you can see guys the 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 uh, gray um, the gray circle is one the one underneath uh, behind the one uh, frame behind 13 this is frame 12 that we left behind and so I'm just gonna I'm just going to um, scale it up a bit just a little bit and then we start over down again uh, right arrow to go to frame 14 move it over right arrow to go to frame 15 move it um, let's um, scale it just a little bit to start uh, stretching it let's rotate it in fact I might move it down a little bit more right about there uh, and then frame right arrow I'm clicking the right arrow on the keyboard to go to frame 16 moving it over rotating it scaling it uh, and then rotating it into place right about there uh, right arrow 17 move it rotate it and then right arrow to go to frame 18 move it rotate it and move it again a little bit undo command z right arrow to frame 19 I'm going to move this over, rotate it, and 
if you don't want to go back and forth we can do the transform and the transform tool has all of the move scale and rotate uh, so I can scale this sound scale it over uh, and make it a circle rotate it a bit scale it and then move it to the place R hit the right arrow to go to frame 20 move it over hit the right arrow to go to frame 21 move it over and that's it frame 22 and then I'm gonna delete it hit the delete key and then delete strokes so um, let's hit the play but before I hit the play right now I've got 240 frames and I don't want to play all 240 frames this is the start frame frame 1 and this is the end frame I'm gonna stop it at 25 and so this brings the end of the timeline to frame 25 and then I'm going to um, scale by grabbing the scroll bar there's a little dot right there I can scale the timeline and I can move it uh, that way I can see all my frames and now I'm gonna hit play and there it is boom 22 22 frames stop and then I'm going to turn off my sketch layer here just by clicking on the eye turn off the sketch layer you can also you also have these controls down here in the timeline so I, I'm looking at my lines and I can hit play and there it is our very first 2d animation in blender thank you I'm gonna stop it and save my file save as or save and call it ball animation uh, draw I'm gonna go to my desktop and save the blender and, and on the next video guys uh, we will color this add a background and then um, render this out okay all right thanks peace out